All right, so on this problem, we're given f of x equals 3x, g of x equals x plus 4, and h of x equals x squared minus 1. Then we're given the composition of f of g of h and then of negative 2. So there's a couple different ways we can do this, but what I want you guys to do is let's just work on one composition at a time. All right? And just like you guys follow your order of operations, do your innermost parentheses first. So let's just do g of h. Let's just get that one out of the way first of all. So remember that represents g of h of x. Then once we figure all this stuff out, we can evaluate it for negative 2. So let's just figure out what g of h is. All right? So what we're going to do then is plug the h of x function into my g of x function. Well, my g of x function is x plus 4. So when I plug in h of x, I'm going to have x squared. Well, let's just write it like this. So it's going to be h of x plus 4. Does everybody see how I took my h of x function? h of x function, and I plugged it in for my x, right? So therefore, h of x is going to be x squared minus 1 plus 4. Combine those up, you get x squared plus 3. All right? So now I have f of my new function, which is x squared plus 3, which is, represents the g of h, right? But g of h is equal to x plus 3. So now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to plug this function, which is g of h, I'm going to plug this function into my f function. So I go up to my f function and I say, oh, that's at 3x. So I do 3 times whatever my g of um, h is, which is x squared plus 3. Then I use apply distributive property. Therefore, I get 3x squared plus 9. And then we have to do all of this. We have to evaluate now for negative 2. So one way that we didn't really go through even last class period, you can do all the mathematical stuff first and then evaluate at the end. So now I need to evaluate this function, f of g or f of g of h. I need to evaluate all of that, which is 3x, 3x squared plus 9, in for negative 2. So therefore. You just plug in negative 2 in for x. So, um, so now we have negative 2 squared, which is 4. 4 times 3, which is 12. 12 plus 3, which is 21. Remember, you're, this is not multiplying. You're evaluating for negative 2, right? You're not multiplying by negative 2. You're evaluating for negative 2. So what I did is I did the innermost parentheses first. I plugged h into g and got this. Then I plugged this into f and got this. Then I plugged this into that and got 21, which is my answer. Anybody have any questions on that? No? JD, Nick, no? Yes? So I can x squared minus 1 plus 4. Now this is g. This is g of h. Then I took so whatever x squared minus one plus four. I combine those to give me x plus three. X squared plus three, right? Because a negative four and one gives you three. Then I took this value and I plugged it into my f function. My f function is three times x. So now it's three times that value. Then I applied distributive property to give me that. And then I plugged the negative two in. Okay. You already questions. No? Question? Good? Okay.